Hello everybody, this is Salah from Bean Air Technical Support. Today we are going to discuss about the diagnostic status on our wireless sensor network. When deploying a Bean Air application on a site, the Beanscape software will gather information regarding your Bean devices in your Bean Gateway. Generally, this information are related to the internal temperature, battery status, and network quality. So here I am connecting an AX3DX range. Let's first try the commissioning mode. So the commissioning mode means that B device is in standby, is not doing measures, he is just waiting for another configuration. I have an acquisition cycle of 8 seconds and the latest diagnostic date will be displayed here. So all these information are refreshed every 8 seconds. I can choose the, I can change the cycle, just click on system configuration and choose the ratio. For ratio of 3, for example, I have a diagnostic cycle of 3 seconds. For, the, for ratio of 5, it's 5 seconds. It's very simple. For the low duty cycle, let's try for example low duty cycle of 2 seconds and a ratio of 3. So my diagnostic cycle will be equal to 6. That means the diagnostic cycle is equal to the data acquisition cycle times the ratio. 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 times 4 equals 8. It's very simple. Let's move on to the streaming packet. I'll put my DB device in uh, 100 Hz and have a look here. I have lost all information regarding the current status of my beam device. That's because the diagnostic process is very intrusive with the high sampling rate. So what should I do? What if I need to, uh, to use the streaming packet mode? And also I'll need to gather information regarding my battery. So you can, you can, you can use the burst mode here. That means my B device will be uh, sampling during the determined time. And then you will take a break during which you will send you information regarding the uh, current status. Let's try a uh, birth mode with 5 seconds and uh, an acquisition duration of 4 seconds. So he'll be taking a break of 1 second. Just, just have a look here. You can notice that the diagnostic is sent at the end of the data flow. Okay, just just make sure to uh, to select the proper diagnostic cycle because it's, it's a frame sent from the main device to your B gateway and this can be energy consuming. So just be wise when choosing the right ratio. There's another feature here. Just click the main device, display wireless network information. The user can display in real time the packet error rate, how many packets were lost during radio transmission, the link quality indicator, uh, is the wireless range between the beam gateway and the main device good or not, the uh, thermal temperature and uh, the battery status also. And don't forget that we have the same thing for the beam gateway. I have a diagnostic cycle of one minute. I have similar information here. I can choose, I can change the, the cycle, I'll put for example one second. So it will be refreshed every one second. And I can put a maximum of one, uh, one minute, 60 seconds. I have similar interface, you can get rates to display wireless network information, internal temperature, battery status. Uh, except for the PER and the LQI, which are property of the main device. That's all for today. Thank you for listening and have a good day.